Okay, you ready? It's been like fucking two minutes. Yeah, it has been two minutes. All right. Finally, it's time to rock. Yeah, Blackbridge Sound. Check out some Marshalls. Welcome to Blackbridge Sound, your friendly neighborhood home recording channel. Today, we are going to take a look at this Marshall DSL-1 and we're going to check it out through the Marshall MX-112. I think it's called the MX-112, right? Yeah. I, think. I don't know. So the MX-112, it's Marshall's cheaper, lower end uh, 112 cab. They make like a better one. I forget what it's called, but it's called something. We're going to check it out and see how it sounds. Let's go. Pretty cool, actually. Not bad. I mean, standing in the room here, it's like... Pretty good sort of like plexi, you know, JCM 800 sound. It's actually pretty underrated in the cleans as well. It also does a pretty sweet uh, high gain there. Let's check that out. You know, this is like a much more like modern metal. Yeah, I just, I think this rig is pretty awesome, right? I love that it does everything. You can do the cleans, you can do the kind of crunchy channel and the high gain modern stuff too, right? Which. And that's with no pedals or anything too, like that's just on its own. So if you're looking at getting like a pretty inexpensive tube amp and you're just playing in the basement, it's awesome. It's a great, great rig for sure. But is it loud enough to go over the drums? Here's a clip of us playing with just room mics and no close mics. Let's go. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely actually pretty surprised like how loud it is over the drums. Like it doesn't kind of compete with the fullness of a 412 like over the drums. I think it helps a lot to get it off the floor, especially for volume. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing with this at home with your band or whatever, it's definitely worth probably propping it up. If you don't have like an extra cabinet or something, like you can put it on a dresser or, you know, something or a box. A box, kind. a tote, anything. A tote. Yeah, a Rubbermaid tote. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad in the room at all for, especially for the price point. It's uh, pretty affordable. It actually sounds pretty good. I think it looks awesome too. Like with the white piping in there, I think it looks really good. Yeah, they really piped it down, eh? But we want to know what you think, so hit us up in the comment section below and toast me up that subscribe button. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We got plenty of other footage of us acting like meatheads. Yeah. We'll see you next time. <laughs>